Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see a concept called as a cell update. So what is this cell update in MDM? Why we need to enable this property? And what is significance of it? These are the things we are going to see in today's tutorial along with demo. So let's start today's session. If we don't enable the cell update in Informatica MDM, the default property is disabled. And the default behavior which comes with it is as below. When we disable this property, the cell value in the target table that is nothing but the base object table is replaced with input record by the load process here the input record will come from the staging table so if you disable the record disable this cell update property then the record in the target table will be updated by using the record in the land in the staging table not only this update but the truss recalculation is also happens on that record even there is no change in the record so the cell value is replaced by the load process even if there is no change in the cell value apart from the cell update it also updates the last updated column in the target table particularly in the xrep table so it does not check the whether the value has changed for the cell or not it just checks whether the last update date of that particular record is greater than the last update date in the existing XREP. If that is the case, it will just update the record into the XREP as well as in the base object if the record gets survived. So that is kind of overhead, overhead on the MDM load job. So is there any way to come over the situation where if there is no change in the cell value only change in the last update date we just want to update we, we just don't want to update such record or we want to skip such record so yes there is a process available and that is nothing but the cell update in order to change the default behavior of MDM where the record get updated in the excerpt as well as in the base object even if there is no change in the cell value only change in the last update date so if you want to override such a default behavior we we have to enable the cell update property at the staging table level if we enable cell update mdm hub compares the input cell value that is the the value from the staging table staging table with the xrep table value and if there is a change in the value then and then that record will be updated in the xrep as well as in the base object based on the trust, trust survive ship all this thing happen during the load job processing if there is no change in the value that means if the values are identical in the staging table as well as in the xrep table then mdm hub does not update the cell in the hub store so here two important things happen first if there is no change in the record the last update date column will not be updated in the xrep as well as in the bo also as there is no need to calculate the trust as the cell values are same so we also get rid of the calculating and assign the trust value in the target base object record and because of these two processes we are skipping it helps to improve the performance of load job so enabling the cell update is always good idea in order to achieve the better performance of the load job and that is the use of the update cell update and cell update properties as i mentioned earlier it is available at the staging table level these are the details about the cell update so let's see how it works with respect to Informatica MDM Hub. In order to demonstrate this feature, we have created two tables. The very first table is 
CB cust that is customer table it has columns party name party type and SSM we also created CB party table which has column party name each this base object has a staging table with the property enable for delta detection we have to enable delta detection for the all the column at least it should be enabled for the last updated column we also enable the delta detection for the staging table of CB party table if you check the column for the CB party table we have not enabled the cell update here however in case of customer table we have enabled the cell update we have the corresponding landing tables also CB oh sorry L party table which contains party name and LCUS table which contains party name, party type, SSN and customer number. We have the corresponding mappings also where you can see the last update date is populated from the landing to staging and other business column and this is the same case for the LCUS table that is landing customer table. Once we configure that if you remember for customer table we have enabled cell update for party table we have not enable the cell update we have also prepared the data in the table so see uh, L customer table has a one record with the last last update date as a 15th September CL party table has one record with the last update date 17th May let's go ahead and run the stage and load job for both this table I'm going to run the stage job for customer as well as I will start the stage job for the party table as is the stage table we can run in parallel there is no dependency I can see one record is loaded in the staging table for customer as well as for the party table let's go ahead and run this load job for the customer I, I'm going to start the load job for the party table also because those are independent tables so we can run parallelly. Customer job finished with one record inserted. I can see here inserted record one. Let's check for the party table and I can see one record up inserted for the party table as well. At the back end side we'll verify in the database how the excerpt looks. If I check B customer X rep, the last update date shown as a 15th September for customer. And for party table, it shows last update date as a 17th May. I'll just copy these values for example in so that we can verify when we run with our next set of jobs. So these are the current last updated values. What I'll do, I'll just change the last update date for the party as well as customer. I'm not going to change the value for the actual business column here that is a party name we are just changing the last update date I just changed last update date from 8 27th to 28th let's change the last update date for the customer table as well from 15th September to 16th September I will rerun the stage job as the last update date is changed the delta detection will detect the delta and it will push the record into the staging table and that is what ha what happened and I can see one record loaded in the staging table of customer I'm also doing the same thing with the party table and I can see the one record loaded in the staging table of party here is the important thing we have to concentrate on as customer for customer table we have selected cell update that means cell update is enabled for the customer there is a record present in the staging table with the last update date it changed but not the business value business column value let's see what will happen on the customer table whether the record will update it or not I just executed now you can see there is one record with no action that means record is not updated in the xrep or bo table let's check what will happen for the base object or for the party table 
I just ran the load job and what I can see here is it updated the xref table so I can see updated xref for one record let's check details in the back end so earlier the last update date for the customer is the 15th September that is what it is maintained let's check for the party xref so party xref is changed from the <coughs> 27th May to 20th May what does it mean it's it means that if there is a change in the record happens only on the last update date in such case if you don't enable the sale update it will just that process the load process will update the record into the xref even there is no change in the business column sell value so this is overhead on the load job which will not only update the last update date in the xref and the base object but also it will recalculate the trust as well as assign the trust value to a given cell value so which leads to the more it will it will require the more time if you have the high volume of record for loading the uh, while running the load job so it is always good idea to enable the cell update which will improve the performance of load job I hope this tutorial is helpful for you for understanding the MDM concept. If you have any questions or queries, you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. You can subscribe my channel for more interesting update about Informatica. If you like my channel, then do not forget to subscribe my channel.